Hello everyone, once again, this is Teacher June, uh, currently teaching at Wat Lukasher School under English program, handling uh, science, mathematics, and English. Okay class, today our topic is parts of flowering plants. Okay, okay class, let's go now to your vocabularies. Okay, number one, root. Number one, root. Number two, top root system. Number two, top root system. Number three, fibrous system. Number three, fibrous system. Number four, stem. Number four, stem. Number five, leaves. Number five, leaves. Number six, phloem. Number six, phloem. And the last one, number seven, is tomata. Number seven is tomata. Okay, I'm going to show you now the example of roots. You could see at the screen of your laptop or cell phone. Number one is roots. Number two, top root system. Top root system. Then the fibrous system. Fibrous system. Stem. Stem. Next is phloem. Phloem. So phloem is located inside of the stem. Okay, so you can see the phloem inside of the stem, but we cannot see those one using our naked eye. We need to use microscope. Okay. Next is xylem. Xylem is a part of the stem also. So you can see xylem inside of the stem also and the last vocabulary is stomata stomata so we can see stomata in the leaves but we cannot see stomata using our naked eye we need to use microscope so this is the last vocabulary for today stomata okay now let's proceed to the functions of the different parts of a flowering plants so first is roots so what is the main function of roots its main function is to absorb water and minerals roots its main function is to absorb water and minerals under the ground or under the soil next is xylem xylem so the use of xylem it carries and provide water and minerals from the roots to the other parts of the plants so meaning it carries and provide minerals coming from the roots and then distribute to the other parts of the plant from the leaves from the fruits and from the stem for example so that is the function of xylem number three taproot system taproot system so what is the function of taproot system it consists of a large and thick main roots and smaller roots that grow from the sides of the main roots. Next is fibrous root system. So the fibrous root system, it has no main roots, but thin in branching roots. Therefore, its roots is smaller than the other, the other one. Okay, number five. The stem transport water, minerals, and food to other parts of the plants. Okay, number five. The stem transports water, minerals, and food to other parts of the plant. Okay, number six. The leaves capture sunlight and make food for the plants. The leaves capture sunlight and make food for the plant. And number seven, the last one. The somata allows the gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen, water vapor to move into out of the leaf. Again, number seven, the somata allows the gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen, water vapor to move into and out of the leaf. Okay class, for your activity, write the following on your notebook. The functions, okay, number one, roots. Its main function is to absorb water and minerals. Number two, xylem. It carries and provides water and minerals from the roots 
to the other parts of the plant. And number three, top root system, it consists of a large thick main roots and smaller roots that grow from the sides of the main roots. Okay, number four, fibrous roots, has no main roots but thin and branching roots. Number five, the stem transports water, minerals, and food to other parts of the plant. Number six, the leaves capture sunlight and make food for the plant. And the last one, number seven, the stomata allows the gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen, water vapor, to move into out the leaf. Okay, class, that's all our topic for today. I hope everybody uh, get it. Okay, thank you.